Welcome to our course and let's get started. Our first lecture talks about how industry use control circuits. So control circuits simply use to apply a sequence of actions to a motor or a specific machine that runs a production line. So that means that the control circuits are electrical circuits that we design and connect to control a machines or a motors that runs a production lines. Uh, briefly that the control circuits or these electrical circuits that we design are designed to control the machines that manufacture or uh, assemble a, a certain product so what is the construction of this circuit the control circuit consists of three main parts inputs outputs and the circuit itself this circuit or the circuit itself could be a software program that stored on a device like a computer uh, device okay and also it could be a circuit a real circuit that is connected uh, with the motors and the uh, relays and etc we are going to explain these components later types of inputs inputs are the components that we used to control the whole operation by sending the signal to the output through the circuit for example push button sensors limit switches and other software devices so uh, that means that the, the the inputs are devices that we use to send a signal to um, command the uh, circuit to do some action to uh, the output uh, device or the motor or the machine so that means that using these inputs we are controlling we controls we control sorry the circuit or we control the whole operation of the manufacturing or the operation of assembling of the product so the input types are for example push buttons we are going to explain what are these components later push buttons uh, selector switch limit switch proximity sensor etc the main circuit so the main circuit we have two main circuits the control circuit and the power circuit control circuit is where the inputs connected to the power circuit so that means that the uh, control circuit is the middle circuit or the circuit between the input uh, devices and the output devices so that means that the input uh, sorry the control circuit is the circuit that takes the signal from the input and send the signal to uh, the output so that means that this circuit is the processor of this whole operation so the control circuit is the mind or the uh, processor of the uh, circuit or the uh, processor that do all the operation or that uh, process all the operation and takes the input signals to the output signals so uh, and the power circuit is the circuit that takes the signal from control circuit and send it to output usually the output is a three phase motor so that means that the power circuit is the circuit that takes the command or the signal from the control circuit and connected to the output uh, devices like the motor or uh, a specific machine or any type of output in the uh, industrial operations uh, usually the output is a three phase motor we are going to explain that later here this is a power circuit the power circuit takes the signal from the control circuit using this contactor we are going to explain that later and give it to the motor okay uh, send the signal to the motor to run the motor and to do its job in the circuit okay we have right here a three phase we are going to explain also what three phase later but the three phase right here are the supply voltage or the supply current to the circuit the outputs 
Outputs are the devices that do physical actions to run a production line. The most famous output is the motor, especially the three-phase motor in the industrial world. Devices may be different, but the concept is when it comes to connecting. So we have the most famous and the most used output device in the industrial operation is the three-phase motor. So the three-phase motor is the most famous and used output device that uh, used in the production lines. And there is other devices, uh, okay, but the it has the same concept in the circuit. It is the same or it is an output device that is connected in the circuit the same way. But the difference is in the way of connecting the output to the circuit. Applying the circuit in a production line. So we have two ways. The first way is using a classic control. The classic control is uh, connecting the circuit normally using wires and uh, contactors and uh, relays and all these physical components. So we have a physical components and we connected this components physically using wires. Okay, the old fashioned way. We could see they we, we could say that and we have the modern way or the most used way right now this way is the plc programming the plc programming does all this connection okay does all these connections in a small device in a small electronic device this device is uh we we could we could program this device and it going to it, it's going to do the job okay uh, other than connecting the whole circuit the whole control circuit in using wires and all this uh, uh, old way okay steps of making a controlled circuit so in controls in classic control way we have three steps first step is designing the circuit of course we have to design the circuit uh, to do our or to do the target that this circuit must uh, do to the uh, output uh, device and wiring the circuit so we need to wire the circuit using the wires and uh, wiring the components the old components together using wires okay the third uh, step is wiring the outputs and the inputs so we have to wiring the output and the inputs in the plc or in the modern way the plc designing the circuit first step is designing the cir circuit just like the, the classic control and the second step is uploading the design on plc so we design the circuit on a computer device or a PC and then uploading the design on the PLC device okay after that we wire the inputs and the outputs so the PLC is a device that we use to uh, connect the inputs and the outputs and uh, Using the PLC, we replace the control circuit, the uh, wired control circuit with a PLC. In the next lectures, we are going to explain AC and DC, uh, alternative current and direct current. And we also going to explain AC and definition of three phase. Uh, then we are going to explain construction of the motor and how to apply the three phase on the motor so thanks for watching that's it in this lecture and i hope to see you in the next one